After 3D modeling of the piece, we proceed to generate with CAD software a support structure based on transversal and longitudinal sections that will give shape and rigidity to the one-off mold. A nesting process was used to distribute properly the pieces that were cut on the support material. This material was an agglomerate made with wood fibers bonded with synthetic resins with high pressure and temperature. The machined templates were identified with a unique code and control marks that allows their proper placement in the assembly phase. The components were cut using a CNC laser. With this process, a one millimeter precision was obtained, avoiding further refinement work. A powerful and high-precision laser focused on a small area of the material. With this cutting technique, the affected area is so small that cut pieces have minimal deformation. To achieve the final surface in the construction of the mold, tools such as digital meters and rotating laser levels were used. A perfect flat surface was generated and respected during the assembly phase. In a similar way, a naval engineer generates water lines during the design of a hull. Once the pieces are assembled, the surface of the future mold is covered and finished. For this purpose, a flexible sheet covered with a non-porous material suitable to receive the release system prior to the manufacturing phase was used.